The ABCA Video Tip of the Week is presented by Volleyball Training Solutions, an educational resource and interactive website for volleyball coaches, and brought to you by the ABCA. So today we're going to talk about middle blocker transition footwork. You know, when a, a middle blocker goes to either antenna uh, and the ball is played behind them, we want them to be part of the offense. And so often I see middle blockers not really be trained to get off the net and get back in so they can be part of the offense. So what we're going to try and do is refine how to get from point A to point B and some of the keys that we're going to emphasize. First key is we want them to locate the ball quickly. In order for that to happen, we don't want them to turn their back on the ball. So if the ball is hit to the right, we don't want them to land and turn to the left and, and vice versa. So we want them to locate the ball quickly. And secondly, we want them to get off the net towards the middle of the court. And I think from the middle of the court, you can pretty much run any sort of offensive play that you have uh, inside your system, uh, but you have to get off the net. Um, and the biggest mistake I see with so many middles is they land from the block and they run along the net, but not off the net. Um, so those are going to be the two most important things. Find the ball and then get off the net and try to get as much to the middle of the court as possible. Remember our two keys is we wanted to make sure the, the middle blocker keeps their eye on the ball and we want to try to get them to the middle of the court to start their transition footwork. So in essence we have four patterns and those are based on where the block is, right antenna, left antenna, and where the ball goes. So I'm going to walk through it first and then Taylor will, will demo. If a middle blocker goes to the outside, so they're in this court position, the ball goes, we'll start with the ball going cross court. So the ball goes inside the block cross court. Again, the key, keep, keep the eyes on the ball. So our first move is to find the ball. As we find it, we step off the net. So this is our first step, okay? So it'll be one, two, now we're at the middle of the court and then we track the ball back to the center. So it's a one, two pivot. So here, block, one, two, one, two, three, either running a one ball or get to the middle of the court and you come back and run a slide or middle of the court, run a 31. So Taylor's gonna go through this a little bit faster than, than I was and uh, give a demonstration of going to the right, go ahead, going to the right, ball goes cross court. So three steps out here, one, two, and then she's back on attack. Do the same thing now, come to the middle of the court and you'll run a slide in transition. Here, one, two, and then it's back behind the setter. We're going to do the same thing again. Now this time she's going to run a 31 on transition. Here, so it's just big one, two off, step away. Now she's back to run a 31. So again, the key being get to the middle of the court and track the ball. Here's the mistake that your middles will make, and I'll demonstrate it. So they'll come here, they'll do a good job of this, they'll do a good job of this, and then all their weight rocks back. And now they're going to have trouble getting back and making any sort of quick transition move. So again, Taylor will demonstrate this. What we really want to focus on as coaches is make sure when they get to this position that their weight's forward. So there's not a rocking step back before they go back forward again. Everything is forward. So just run a one ball on transition. Here, one, two, her weight stays forward, and then it's back to the net. Same move in terms of going to the right, but now the ball is hit down the line. So as she goes out, it'll be here. She tracks the ball with her eyes, and then it's a drop step. So I watch the ball being dug, one, two, three, one, two, three, back to the, uh, back to the net on transition. So Taylor would demonstrate. Here, big drop step, and then back behind the setter. The thing that Taylor's doing well, which is gonna be a point of emphasis, go ahead and we'll walk through this. If she goes to the outside, the thing you wanna make sure that your blockers are doing is the first step is taking them to the middle of the court. A common mistake is the first step is just kind of a half turn. So they've taken a step but they haven't gone any place. So the first step is a big turn, then she follows through. So they're big steps to get to the middle. 
Okay, we say that because if the first step is just here, she still has to get to the middle. Now she's going to have trouble getting there. So the direction of that step is here. So she, she goes back to the middle of the cord. So demonstrate it one more time. Uh, it doesn't matter what you do on transition. So here, big step with her right foot, gets to the middle, and then she can come back in, run one, 31, or a slide. So that was the footwork going to the middle blocker's right. Now we're going to do the same thing if the ball's back set and the middle blocker has to go to the left. Concepts are the same. We want to get to the middle to start our approach. You want to keep our eyes on the ball. So the first will be a ball being hit cross court. Eyes stay on the ball and it's just going to be one, two, three off the net. One, two, three back to the setter for transition attack. So Taylor will demonstrate that. So it's to the outside, big drop step to the middle, and then goes back for attack. Now do the same thing and run a slide. Here, big drop step to the middle, one, two, three, and then she goes back behind the setter for a slide. Good, now, same thing, goes to her left, ball's hit down the line, track the ball. So her first step is gonna be with her eyes, back to the middle, one, two, and then one, two, three. So she'll demonstrate. So the outside, big drop step, gets her to the middle, and then she goes for her transition swing. Okay, so now we're gonna go through all of these, and I'll play setter, except I won't set. I'll just toss transition swings. So I'll be a right front player, and first thing we'll do, ball goes down the line, um, she'll get off the net and run transition one, then she'll go cross court, off the net, transition one, and then we'll do the same thing from the left side. So you get an idea of how the, the uh, middle block or any transition and the setter will work together. So I'll start out here, and this will be down the line first. Okay, so I'll be here, down the line, she turns, finds the ball, comes back in, and hits her transition one ball. Okay, this time we're going to hit two balls. Uh, again, she'll be going to her right as if the ball was set to a left front attacker. First one's down the line, big drops at the middle, she'll run her transition attack. The next ball will be simulated across court, so she'll turn the other way, eyes on the ball, get to the middle, and transition to attack again. So I'll be the right front player. First one's down the line. Here, she drops to the middle, finds the ball, comes back. There, good. Now this is cross court. Big drop step cross court. Good. Okay, same thing, but now we're going the other direction. The ball's been back set. Taylor's gonna do a sequence of two. First one's gonna be down the line. Eyes stay on the ball. Big drop step with her left foot to get her to the middle. The second ball will be a ball hit cross court. Now her first step will be a drop step with her right foot. Here, big drop step here, gets the middle, and then she swings through. Big drop step with her left foot, excuse me, her right foot, and she swings through. I wanna show you what our middle blockers do at the start of practice. And they just, they do this all by themselves. This is, this is their warm up, and Taylor will demonstrate where it's not real intense, go ahead Taylor, where she's just rehearsing footwork, and she, will go all the directions, ball down the line, ball cross court, and she'll run different things on transition, sometimes a one, sometimes a 31, sometimes a slide. But this is the equivalent of scales. If I'm a, if I'm a pianist, I do scales. And this is what she's doing right now. So every day when they come in, they automatically just start working on, on footwork. Good, so even though they're going half speed. As a coach, you want to be watching for where, where their, what their footwork is and making sure their footwork is correct and also making sure that their posture stays in, in, in a proper fashion. So you don't want the shoulders coming back. So as soon as the shoulders come back, the weight comes back, now your transition gets slow. So even when they're coming off the net, they want to try to keep your shoulders and weight in a forward position. So that's kind of what we do with our middles. So we have very scripted footwork when the ball goes to either antenna. Based on where the ball goes, the footwork's a little bit different, but the goal is keep your eyes on the ball and try to get where your footwork takes you to the middle of the court. 
so you can be part of a transition offensive pattern.